Hi there guys, um, welcome back to another video. Um, sorry for being absent the last couple of months or a well, month. Uh, just had a couple of things to do and with the holiday season we've been busy. But today we're bringing you a new video. Um, we're going to show you some of our hatchlings of the hog nose, Grinchy pythons and ball pythons as hatched out so far. Um, this season has been very late so we haven't hatched all of our clutches. We're probably halfway through I'd say. Uh, but in the next month we'll be fully hatched um, So yeah, we're going to show you that quickly. Let's get straight into the video So the first hatchling I want to show you guys was from my first clutch um, This is an orange cream pied double head clown lavender so orange cream pied double head grail um, this is a stunning little boy and a real powerhouse male. Um, I was super lucky to, to hatch him out. Um, so he's going to be a great male for future projects. Um, very, very excited about him. And this actually is unfortunately in shed. Um, but this came from my Desert Ghost clutch. This is an inchy leopard. Desert Ghost head hypo, possible head clown male, so a real stunning male. Um, and here's another one from the Desert Ghost clutch, this male is not in shed. This is a leopard spot nose, double, well, leopard spot nose Desert Ghost, head hypo, boss head clown. So, real, real stunning animal. And here's two, another two males from the same clutch. On my right hand side we've got an Enchi Desert Ghost head typo. And on my left hand side we've got a Spot Nose Desert Ghost head typo. I mean beautiful animals. Look at that head stamp of the Spot Nose Desert Ghost. So you got two beautiful looking animals. So this was the first year we hatched um, Yellow Billy Pites and Fire Pites. So here on my left hand side we've got a yellow belly pied and here we've got a fire leopard pied. Um, you can see the difference, the fire just enhances the head color a bit. So two awesome little girls, um, super excited to hatch them out. And here um, we've got one of the smallest babies of the season, he's in shed of, unfortunately. Um, it's always the small babies you think will not eat well, but surprise, well, surprise, surprisingly to me, this little guy is actually feeding quite well. Uh, this is an Exantic Pied, the MJ line. Um, the Exantic Pied, MJ, well, Exantic MJ lines tend to be a bit more aggressive. That's why he's probably feeling um, quite good for his own size. Um, honestly, I didn't think this baby would have make it. Um, it came from a very dried out egg. And um, yeah, you know, it was just from right out of the bat. You can see it's not something, um, it's not well developed and everything, but um, it's doing very well. And I'm super excited to to uh, hatch him out. The Nia is quite a cool hatchling. Um, this is a metal flake pied. So you can see the metal flake just brings out, disturbs normal pied pattern. Um, at the moment this gene, the metal flake pied, or the metal flake gene, um, I haven't bred it out into um, other genes, so it's only in the, at the moment in pied, um, but this year I'll try and breed make heads and stuff um, without pied. Um, actually I didn't discover the gene, um, it was actually originally from Steve Rusis. Um, so yeah, it's, it's quite interesting and you can definitely see it's genetic. So this came from a, a pastel leopard spot nose double head ultramo clown female bred to a pastel double head ultramo clown male. Um, so this is a Batman 66% head ultramo. Um, unfortunately I missed the ultramo Batman. I'll show you the spot nose um, ultramos now. Um, but in my honest opinion, um, I've hatched a couple of Batmans throughout the years. Um, but this male almost looks like an ultramo. 
So I'm quite cer certain he's going to prove out head. Um, so a real powerful male for my uh, double head females. So also from the Batman Ultramol or Ultramol Clown Clutch, we hatched this um, Pastel Spot Nose Ultramol Posset Clown. We also hatched the Super Pastel Spot Nose Ultramol Posset Clown. Um, I'm really actually impressed with this combo. Um, beautiful colors. Um, yeah, so very nice. I'm very excited for the Ultramol Clown project. Um, we've got a few um, nice jeans or um, good jeans, you know, enhancing jeans as well in the Ultramol Clown project which should come into light this following season. Um, so yeah, like I said, I was also quite impressed with these babies. It's the first time I've hatched white weddings. So it's basically a pure white spider pied. And then we've got a beautiful little pinstripe pied male here. Two very nice animals. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm quite impressed with this uh, white wedding animals. Some of the purest whites I've ever seen. Um, so super excited uh, for to hatch these little guys out. They may not be the most powerful pies in the sense of um, genetics wise, but stunning combos nonetheless. So this is quite a um, interesting batch we hatched here. Um, on my left hand side we've got a banana pastel hidden gene woma super stripe. And then on my right hand side, We've got a banana pastel super stripe. Two beautiful looking males. Um, yeah, I'm very impressed with these combos. Um, also from the same clutch. We hatched the banana inferno. And let me show you this one. Also very two very nice combos. We hatched the banana inferno here on my right hand side. And then we hatched the Hidden Gene Woma Super Stripe female. Um, I must say, this is probably one of the prettiest com codom, com codom combinations I've seen and I'm super excited about this little girl. Um, I have not decided if I wanted to want to keep her, um, but I will try and hold on as long as possible to her. Um, then also, uh, we hatched some chocolate head clowns. Um, very exciting project for us. Um, we hatched two males and two, well, one female. Um, so here we've got a beautiful chocolate head clown, posset ghost male. Um, super excited to introduce the chocolate to my clown projects. Um, I mean, all of the combos Justin has produced um, really, really is impressive. So y'all yeah, guys, like I said, um, we are only halfway through hatching our ball pythons. Uh, most of our clutches that's left will be hatching um, to go throughout February. So we'll make another updated video of the hatchlings and the new hatchlings and how they progress. Let's go on to hognose. So with a hognose, we also had a very, very late season compared to previous seasons. By now we would have been already hatched out. All the babies would have hatched. Um, but yeah, this year has been a bit of a funny season. We've actually um, lost a couple of babies, um, which is quite weird. Um, but yeah, we've got a beautiful Bino Conda male. Um, unfortunately, we missed out on the Super Conda Albino again. Um, it's the third year in a row uh, from Albino Conda to Albino Conda that we just missed it. Uh, it was actually quite unfortunate because the Super Conda Albino male wasn't fully, well, Super Conda Albino, I don't know what the sex was, wasn't fully developed, and um, it actually ended up dying in the egg. Um, so yeah, just another year of missing the combo, um, but we're gonna go on and try and produce it, because um, I mean, it's a stunning animal. So um, this animal comes from our citrus line. Um, so citrus is a, a morph we actually discovered in our own collection. Uh, this is a citrus exantic. Um, I'll compare it to a normal citrus now. Citrus has enhanced the red, redness of the animal. Let me show you citrus here. And with all of these lines, I see they tend to get better as they age. So here's a little citrus um, male. Very stunning animal. Um, 
Let me show you. Here's another citrus animal. This one, oh, it's just in shed. Um, but you can see as they age, they get a bit more red. Um, this is a two year old little male. And then also, we had some green pandas. So here we've got a little green condom male. Sunny little boy. Then we hatch out some greens. Um, as well on the greens they get better um, as they mature. Um, they get a bit more green color. You can see this one starting as a couple of feds in, well meals in, starting to get a green color. Um, as well we hatch some Toffees and toffee condas. So we've got a toffee and a toffee conda. The toffee is on the right hand side and the um, toffee conda on the left hand side. So yeah guys, um, like I said as well on the hog nose, we're also around um, halfway through our season. Uh, we hatched a couple of nice stuff but we're still waiting for more um, nice animals to hatch. We've got some exantics in the incubator um, due to hatch soon. So hopefully we hit some more exantics. Um, but yeah, in the hog nose we're just trying to line bread the trades a bit, enhance the color and make the best animals possible we can. Let's go show you the hatching green tree pythons and that's yeah, let's go on. So yeah guys, here's just a short overview of some of the green tree python hatchings we had this year. Uh, this is a red near, just freshly shed. Um, just excuse the cage. Uh, I don't like to disturb them when they're shedding. Um, so yeah, this male, this little hatching came from a super beast female. Uh, at the time, a prince times bait male. So really awesome hatching. And here's a sibling, a red sibling. Also just had a nice fresh shed um, from the same period. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Um, like I said, I'll show in another video as soon as all of the babies is hatched out. Um, and also some updated stuff on the new uh, hatchings we just showed. Uh, I just want to remind you guys about our final subscriber give giveaway. Uh, we're very close to it. I think we're like 55 subscribers away from the giveaway. And also guys, um, I'll put all of our social media links down below uh, where we, we post quite regularly on there. So if you want to stay updated with what's going on in our room, be sure to look, look out for those links. But yeah guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.